100% down. What time? All right, I'll see you in 45. Yo, I haven't daily vlog in a while. I feel like just doing an old school Jesse type of daily vlog and Screw it, yo, I overthink these videos too much. I'm rocking these sneakers today. You guys screw, mess with these? You guys mess with these? I'm going with these off-white joints. My boy Casey just hit me up. I'm sure you know who he is, Casey Neistat. He's just like the OG go of YouTube right now. And he was like, yo, I got a helicopter, doors off. You wanna go? Hell do you wanna go? You know me, I gotta overthink the camera equipment. What do I wanna bring? That should be about it. Ace is probably out there now. Let's go, you guys coming with me. You gonna fit, oh he's gonna fit it. You gonna fit that. Yo, am I good parking here? Yeah. <laughs> it's cool if I fly here? Yeah, it's cool, I do it all the time. Really? Yeah. We got the little Mavic Air. Okay, Casey's the king of uh, hitting me up last minute and said, hey, do you want to go in a helicopter with no doors? All right, 20 minutes, I'll be there. Well, t today is the Academy Awards, uh, Jesse, and there's only one way to see the Academy Awards, and that's from... Oh, that's what we're uh, doing? Yeah, over the red carpet. I didn't tell you that. I didn't understand what you meant by that. Oh, we're sort of crashing the red carpet, but, but from above. From the sky, yeah. <laughs> So we're going by the SpaceX Hyperloop. This is, I guess, their test for the way of solving traffic in California. Yeah, I don't know where we're supposed to go. That doesn't look like you could fit a car in that. No, that's a test one. Oh, Wait, are you surprising me with SpaceX? I wish. Oh. I go straight all the way down so you can't drive anymore and then bust. Damn it, I thought we were flying in a spaceship. Sorry, Jesse. I didn't disappoint you. <laughs> I don't know if you know Jesse. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up, man? Jesse. Nice to meet you. We got a pretty good squad. Nice. Um, David Dobrik's on his way with Josh Peck. Wait a minute. I think I'm doing something wrong. Casey doesn't have any cameras hanging from himself, and I have. Jesse, do not reveal that I'm not going to shoot this myself. Don't let your don't let your audience know that I'm not going to be shooting. I can't. Does it, does it need to be tighter? Well, we got a couple friends rolling with us. We got Josh here. What up, Josh? Son, son. You've you you never been in a helicopter before, right? Yeah, I'm especially terrified. Are you really? scared of heights? You've never been in a helicopter. Oh, this is not a good, this is not a, this is not a training wheels like flight. Oh, you know that there's no doors on the one we're flying in, right? Oh, good. It's going to be great. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. And I'm a little nervous. Blown in the helicopter doors off. With doors off? No, no. never. No. That's why I'm scared. I look dope. <laughs> I look like Tomb Raider. I feel like I, I, I put my You got cameras for the whole crew. Feel about your first flight? It was incredible. I'm glad it, I'm glad it happened. I'm ready. I don't think I ever need to do it again. I'm glad it happened. Unreal. Imagine taking that like to the airport every day like Casey does. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for having me. Thanks, Casey. That's what I hug. That's what I hug. That's what I hug. I'm sorry it was so cold, Jesse, but I. Oh, hope dude, you I was fun. dying. Are you cold? <laughs> no, I was fine. Yeah, I've got right. the blood of a legend. Am I coming to your house? I'm invited. You're not gonna put any animals on me with my eyes. No, I don't have any. But I wish I, I wish I had a heads up. I would. <laughs> put your heat seat on high. No, yes, please. Yeah, put your heat seat please. on high. Can we get food too? I need food. Does he have food in his house? Uh, I don't know. I need food. Turn the heat up. Turn the heat up, buddy. Yo, should I do these things every day? 
Yeah, you know I've been asking you for <laughs> for the daily for so long. Uh, the videos won't be as good if I did that every day. Like today's video is probably not that like cool edits and green screens and drones and all this dope. Shit. Good. Jesse, thanks for flying thanks with me today. Thanks so much for having me, buddy. Thanks, thanks for dinner. I probably won't see you. You're going back to New York? Yeah, tomorrow morning. All right, I'll, I'll meet you in New York. Good Peace. to see you, man. Peace when are you coming? Uh, ASAP. I don't know. Ooh, I'm back. All right. So, I wanted to try something kind of different with you guys and new and see if you're into this, but I've always wanted to do like like i don't like the name of it but like a story story time type of video where you tell a story and you on youtube or whatever and i have so many crazy amazing stories strap on your storytelling seatbelts and here's a crazy story I'm about to tell you all right so this is a story how i got apprehended in las vegas at a ufc fight and Dana White, who is the CEO of the UFC, which is the Ultimate Fighting Championship, got me out of the... Oh, are you gonna focus on me or not? He got me out of trouble with the police. So this all happened about four years ago, and my friend Ed Bassmaster, he's a comedian, uh, prankster, YouTuber, the funniest dude I know personally. <laughs> Dana White loves Ed Bassmaster. So Ed Bassmaster gets invited to a fight in Las Vegas by Dana. Ed being the nice friend that he is, he decided that he'd bring me with him. And at the time I had this, like these fake wads of money. Uh, I used them for a prank once with Tom Green. We're at Hollywood Boulevard with Tom Green and we're doing the fake money wad prank. Did you drop it? Yeah. Holy, get out holy, of here. yo, you get dropped this? Get out of you here. dropped you it. Me when I just dropped it. You dropped that. Don't play with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's disrespectful. Call, call, call. call him up. So that night when we flew in, Ed and I were just, you know, goofing around the casinos, running around, doing little bits, and we were throwing the fake wads of money on the ground and like picking it up and going, like, "Oh, we found money." All right, we're gonna have Ed do the money prank, to Joe Rogan, right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what man. So we go, you know, that's mine, that's mine. We did it to the cabin. Oh yeah. You just walk by girls and just cry first. It got so bad we started throwing it at, you know, we thought might have been prostitutes, we don't know, but look like it on the ground and they run up to us with, oh my god, where are you guys going? Blah 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 blah. We thought it was so funny. You know, we pranked them. So the next night. Dana White calls Ed and was like, yo, Ed, come hang out with me up in my suite before the fight and, uh, you know, say hi. We go up to Dana White's super posh, bougie hotel room. I get to meet Dana and I'm, I'm, t and I'm like, oh, here's a good opportunity. I had to fake a lot of money. I pulled out the fake lot of money and I'm like, Dana, what do you think of this? And, and I started telling him what Ed and I were doing and he thought it was really funny. He was like, oh, that's funny. He pulls out like a real lot of money, a hundreds comparing it and stuff, takes one of his hundreds off his real hundreds and puts it on my fake hundred dollar bills. So he, best, he basically just blessed the prank. He's like, you guys should stay here as long as you want, hang out, I'll see you down at the fight, I gotta go. But okay, he leaves, we just start, you know, drinking alcohol in his hotel room, checking it all out, because it's like a really cool room. And then we got, I got a little bit drunk and then we headed down to the fight. Had a great time, Dana gave us freaking amazing tickets. We're watching the fight, turning up, freaking out. The fight's great. Ed and I are leaving the event. We're walking out of, through the corridors. I have the fake wads of money. I'm throwing it on the ground, picking it up. I'm all drunk, acting stupid, being funny. And I throw it down in front of two cops, right at their feet. And I scoop the hoe down and pick it up. As soon as I picked up the money, they grabbed me. They were like, hey, and they grabbed me. And I'm like, in my head, I'm kind of drunk and I'm like, I didn't do anything illegal. This isn't right. This isn't right. They shouldn't be arresting me. So I kind of resisted. I started resisting arrest and like they started, they slammed me, pushed me up against the wall. Let's move around. Let's go. Let's go. Big pictures later. Hey guys, we need to move. Wait, wait for him out here. Wait for him out here. I'm fine. I'm fine. I remember my vlog camera got looped into the handcuffs, so I, I wanted to like throw my vlog camera to Ed. Like I tried to throw it to him, 
because I wanted him to film it, but Ed was lucky enough to film it on his cell phone. I don't know what's going on, but Jesse just got arrested for dropping fake money. So now I'm in handcuffs. I'm kind of being a loud mouth because I didn't think it was illegal what I was doing. I'm like asking them why I'm gonna be arrested. Like, why am I getting arrested? They said I'm getting arrested because I was resisting arrest. I'm like, how the hell does that even make sense? How do you get arrested for resisting arrest? And I kept bitching about that. I was like, this is ridiculous. And as I'm in the handcuffs, one of the guys that was in Dana White's suite with us, his right hand man, happened to walk by. And he looks at me and I look at him and he's like, is everything all right? I was like, yeah, everything's great. You know, and he walked off. But the head of security was there too. And he goes, wait a minute, do you know Dana White? And I'm like, Shit, I don't want to get Dana. Like, I don't want to burn any bridges with Dana. Like he invited me to his event. Now I look like an asshole. And I was like, really like, damn it, this is bad. And I was like, no, I don't know. So they bring me into the back of the MGM and I'm getting kind of nervous now. But I don't know if you ever seen the movie Casino where they took the dude's head and put it in a vice and squeezed it. Listen to me, Anthony. I got your head in a Advice. I always thought they were going to just rough me up. And all of a sudden, here comes Dana with two fighters that just fought a whole entourage of people. And he comes walking in. I'm like, oh, no, I'm in handcuffs, mind you. Dana's like looking at me, shaking his head. The cops say, like, hey, how are you doing? What did he do? And then the police officer started saying what I did. And then I chimed in. I was like, no, nah, that's not what happened. And Dana White's like, shut the F up. He hates me, man. I was like, damn, this is bad. The cop continued to say what he, what I did. And then Dana goes, hey, listen, this is my friend. He's from Jersey. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. He's like, I'd really appreciate it if you let him go. He's a prankster on the internet. He's a friend of mine. I'd really appreciate it if you let him go. And then he leaves. The cops uncuff me and let me go. And they're like, you're lucky you know Dana White. You've been in, you would have been locked up till Tuesday because you can't see a judge till then. And you know, he cleared your name. I was like, what? And he uncuffed me and I walked out and there's Ed. And Ed's like, what the hell happened? I was telling Ed, the phone rings. And it's Dana White and Dana's like, hey, we're all going out to dinner, bring your criminal friend. We want to hang out. I was like, wait a minute, what? So then we go out to dinner with Dana and the, like a bunch of the fighters, he like closed the restaurant just for us. And the whole time at dinner, he was just telling the story about what happened with me. So I get done, we get done with the fight tonight, and my security guy comes to me and says, yeah, your buddy uh, that was doing the money prank, he, uh, they, they, he, he wised off to the cops. They're detaining him right now. They're, they want to know what you want to do. If you don't give a sh they're going to arrest him and send him to jail. And I was going to stay there till Wednesday. If you don't want him to, I don't know. That's what, oh, is that what they that's said? That's what they said. I would no. stay there till Wednesday. Wednesday would be his first court date. Right. Wednesday would be your first court date because all of Friday's cases get pushed to Tuesday because of the holiday. Wednesday would be there. I would have been in jail till Wednesday in Vegas if it yeah, wasn't for you. That is probably true. Well, you'd have had a court date on one. Yeah, because it's a three-day weekend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that would have sucked. That's the crazy story I wanted to, you guys to know. Some of you guys might know kind of it. Cause I did vlog it back in the day, but you didn't know all the details. Thank you, Dana, for getting me out of trouble and for being awesome. I have such crazy stories to tell you guys that have happened in my life. So if this is something that you're really into and you want to see me do one next week, and next week I was thinking about doing the Snoop Dogg one or the story about how I could have almost killed somebody in the military, tell me in the comments if that's something you'd want. And if you really want it, Hit the thumbs up button this way i know that i should rock that and i'll do one of those every i could do that every week on top of the awesome videos that i like to make for you guys but thanks for hanging out with me today i love you peeps and hopefully i'll see you next week with another story time or a vlog or whatever you want see you.